right, here we go. Oh, switch the lights off. Click, click. Nice lake to wake up to. Ta-da! Right, we're off to down the market. So from the Everglades, it's literally a whole six minutes to the car park. We could walk it, but we might get some shopping. So we're going to take the car. And... Ta-da! Look! Morning. Snazzy Dan and Snazzy Mazzy! Snazzy Mazzy! Hurrah! And Sammy <laughs> and the Pine. We're off to shop. I hope there's no charity shops. <laughs> right, so we're in Down and Market. We're in a long stay car park, which is a free car park if you can get parked. We got here about half past nine and it's rammed here already. Market day, Fridays and Saturdays. So right next to the car park is a charity shop. There we go, I don't mind this one. This is a mind charity shop. Okay. And I'm donating all my ad revenue from YouTube to mind for my first year which is a mental health charity there we go mind Norfolk and Waveney so I'm just gonna have a look in here yeah so it's a nice little nice little charity shop so it's a nice knickknacks in there Sammy's buying some books I've just not to get off there we go. Sam is buying some books. It's quite a nice little cherry shop, little nicks and knocks in there, bits and bobs. Right, let's see where we're going now. Look what Sammy's got. Look at that. And herbal health. Can't have that in the bedroom, I won't be able to sleep staring at that. What's she got? A great big candy floss? No! Oh. She's spinning. And Sammy made Mazzy a bag, look. Look at that. Isn't she posh? <laughs> that is well good. That's a good idea. Yeah, she could put it in the boot of the car because obviously you're going to have more stuff to carry. Right, so Paradise Road. A little bit of info for you. And then we're going off down here. So here's the long stay car park, so that's what you want to be looking out for. Let me see. There you go. Councillor A.T. Johnson, 1916 to 1919. Oh, he was an old boy, wasn't he? He had a good life. So yeah, it's a bit tight round here. Look at them little cottages. That's quite sweet. Alright, where the guy has gone? That's about right. Yeah, Dad, look, found your comb. Your great big bunts. There you go. Look at that. Roll school here. Hairdressers. Doing it. Oh, oh look at that. It's quite nice here. There, look. Oh, look. Bugger, These are flipping knife and forks as well, Dad. Look. He likes a nice big knife and fork, my dad. Giant, man. Yeah, nice. perhaps there's giants living around here. This is quite a nice shop, living in Downham Market. Got loads of really nice stuff in here. Dan quite fancies this bird table. It looks quite natural. Really nice stuff in here. Really nice. All for your home. Not hardware shop. That looks pretty good in there. Yeah. Oh, there's an art shop over there. Let's have a look at that. There's another charity shop. Break, and it looks like a 
a young person's charity. We like to help out. I used to mentor youth offenders back in the day and look after them and steer them on the right path. I was quite quite good at that. Oh dear, this is quite an unfortunate name for an Indian. What's it? Oh, the do karai. The do karai. We're getting Indian late then. So this looks like the town square. Look at that. That's pretty snazzy, isn't it? Subway, Sammy's favourite. But the market's down there a little one, I think. A big pub on the corner, Allium. Which looks nice in there for breakfast and stuff. Yeah, look at that clock tower, I like that. That's got to be a town hall there, isn't it? Surely. Let's go and have a look. Oh yes, the town hall. I was right. Hurrah. There we go. It's quite a nice little square, this. There we go. Town square. Ryan's Bargains. I think we're going to have a walk down to the market. There's a peacock's there. Oh, that brings back memories. I think there's one in their local town. I've seen one of them for ages. What's she seen? Oh Christ, Sue Ryder. You going in now? Just a super thanks, Joe McKingan. I hope I've spelt that right. Joe M C K Joe McKingan. Thank you so much for your super thanks. What a lovely gesture. Thank you really, really, really from the bottom of my heart. If I can get Sammy out this. Uh, Sue Ryder shop, I think she's buying wool again. I'll tell her you did it. Thank you very much. They see me rolling. That's well cool. So this is a little market. There's only a little one. Sweeties. Well, she's started to spit. The rain a little bit. Burgers, hot dogs. Just had the camera pointing towards me and some old boys pulled up where we shouldn't do and he went, are you recording me mate? I went, no, I'm not. The camera's the other side of the camera mate. So, yeah, bless his heart. What's that over there? Butchers. Oh, look what I found. Do you take cards? Yes. Can I have a And they've got jelly deals. Mm. Oh, get some of that. A little market, but look. Fruit and vegetable, proper old school. Fruit and vegetable. Oh, yeah, you know when it's a good one, because you get all the local people all there buying their fruit and veg. Looks nice, yeah? And in the square where the, I can't talk today, in the square where the market is, your public toilets. Just in case you're one of these people that like to know where the toilets are. So we're going to continue to walk up the high street. I say, never been here before. So we're just having an explore. See what's about. Hope you're all doing well and happy. Uh, yeah, it's a nice little walk out here for a morning. As I said, it's six minutes from Bradley's campsite. I've been doing a bit of fishing on there. Would you like to see a bit of fishing? I've done a video, but you know, some people don't like fishing. Well, I've done a little video of me doing a bit of fishing. Nothing graphic. Just me and the fish. Sitting there, enjoying myself. And a little walk I did with Raven. So, if you want to see that, put it in the comments. If no one says, no, I don't want to see it, then I'll put it up anyway. There's a lot of... Oh, this is being old school when Nelson used to go to school. 
Admiral Lord Nelson <laughs> received part of his education now and now it's Reed's home store. There's a lot of home stores in this little town. Not round our way because you've got a big industrial area with lots of big shops that sell all this sort of stuff. Like Dunelm and that. But round here I don't think there is. So there's a lot of these homeware stores. Which is quite nice. Everyday Essentials shop over there, spoilt for choice. But oh, look at these little old buildings. Look at that, it's fantastic. How uh, funny. Just spoke to a bloke, he see us reading the uh, sign, and he went, my grandson Googled it the other day, he said, it's a lot of rubbish. He didn't really go to school here. <laughs> it's just got a plaque on the wall. I'm gonna have to check that one out. So at the moment, the story goes he used to go to school here, but he never. Right, what else can we see? Right, I'm ever so sorry about this, but there's a bit of a theme going now with these videos. I think this is another charity shop. Love Downham, the Swan Youth Project. And it looks like they're doing a lot of things for youth and mental health around this area, which is really good. Oh no, hang on. No, it's a youth project. But they have got a bit of charity gear next door there, by the looks of things. There we go. Just found a nice Indian. Mm. So yeah, there's a little teddies and toys, little toy shop, and next to that is Animal Magic. And then on the other side of the road is Holly's Car Park, if you see that on the maps, and that's where Morrison's is. Uh, you can park in Holly's car park. Yeah, there's loads of little shoppies around here. There's another home shop there. Home and hardware. So they obviously ain't got a range or a Dunelm or anything around this area. So these sort of shops can survive. But that sells everything in there. Garden furniture, barbecues, etc, etc. Oh, there's a Thai restaurant now. Oh, I love Thai food. Look at that. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. And there's your weather spoons, the whale bone. And I think we're going to go up here because a lot of people walking up there. So we're going to be sheep. So opposite the weather spoons, you come down that little alley and there's like a little park over there. And this is the Heritage Centre and Museum. So if you're into that sort of thing, have a little look there. But it's weird here. Yeah? Really strange place. Dental surgery. And little quaint, little quaint cottages there. Limestone cottages, it's quite sweet. So further up that street is Tesco's. We've just found. Oh, what's this? Oh no. Bluebells, florists, weddings, tributes, and gifts. Sammy nearly tripped over the step. Priory Gardens. It's like a little community garden thing. You can see that if you want to pause it and zoom in. Right, pretty near back where we drove down this road here. This place has got the most hairdressers I've ever seen in my life in one place. Literally, spin you around. Literally, we've walked past about 10 or 12 hairdressers in down the market. Never seen so many in my life. Let's get across here. Come on, boy. Yeah, it's quite a nice little place for a mooch. 
Oh, there's a long drip over there. So if you need any washing done when you're out in the motor run, there's a long drip just there. And there's a jeweler's. Yeah, another one. Flipping hell. Oh, here she comes. Bet she's a happy looking girl she is. It's so close, isn't it? Uh, I'll be two minutes. Look at that. It's weird, isn't it? It's a music shop. But this poor soul here. Oh, happy. Look at his wheel, look. He's literally got his back wheel on the end of the yellow lines and she's giving him a ticket. Oh well, let's give her something to do today, isn't it? Hey! Don't you just love them. <laughs> Dan's found his shirt, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet yours did look oh like dear for someone that don't like charity shops Ian and I have spent a lot of time in them I haven't even been in a flipping shop yet oh it's a bookshop come on let's go and have a look in here Number eight, the old bookshop. That's well cool. Gotta have a look in there. And down this little road, there's a tattooist. Norfolk Cheese Company and Delicatessen. I want to go in there. And there's a nice old butcher's there. Look at that, proper butcher's. And I want to go in there. And next to that, is a craft and wool shop. Guess where I'll be going after the butchers. Oh, so it's just been in here. The Norfolk Cheese Company and Delicatessen. That's really nice in here. I've got some nice stinky cheese. Gorgon Solar. And there's the butchers. Nice old school butchers to be done and oh dear look what I've seen and there's a surprise another barbers look at that look at that that nice bungalow big garden looks like a little village location 375 grand definitely moving up this way <laughs> this pigeon's never heard of health and safety. Look where he's built his nest. Look at that. Oh, it's such a shame. Flip here now, I wouldn't nest up there. <laughs> Look at him, bless his heart. Nice little pigeon. Come on. But yeah, we're almost out there. Almost out now. We've had a walk round. And apparently, Googled it, there's 16 hairdressers open in Downham Market. 16! That's insane, isn't it? Hairdressers and charity shops. It's quite a nice little walk round. Actually, for a mooch, it's not an all day job. There's a framing shop there. But yeah, I don't think it's an all day job, it's just a nice little morning. But there's somewhere else I want to go and scope out on the way back. Mezzy wants to go to Tesco's. So we pop into Tesco's. And then go and have a look at something else that I want to have a little butcher's hook at. For maybe for next week. We're back in this car park. Yeah? Back to the car. 
So I've been here a couple of hours, had a little mooch round, went in a bookshop. We're back to mind. So we're going to go and pop somewhere else now on the way back, and I'll probably show you that. Maybe he wants to go to Tesco's. So, back in the car. Tesco's now. And a little mooch into Tesco's. It's just literally in the town. We walked past the back of it. And there's an impost place there where you can pick your uh, bits and bobs up from Amazon. So we're going to get some tea. Lovely jubbly. Sammy wants a spaghetti bolognese. That's her favourite dinner. She wants a birthday dinner cooked for her. She always asks for spaghetti bolognese. Right, let's get in here. Right, so this turn in here is the turning you want for Bradley's mum's campsite. There, Lakeside, Caravan and Fishing Lakes. Lake, www.lakesidedenver.co.uk That's Bradley's mum's campsite. So I just want to have a quick look. Over there, I don't know if you can see that, there's a windmill there. So this here, just before you get to the Denver Sluice, is the other little campsite. Just through there. It's a certificated camping and caravanning club site. And the telephone number is 07766621. 0781 but when you go to Bradley's at Everglades you have to be a bit careful because the um, postcode takes you round to this side of Denver which is not where you want to go there you go that's a rally field through there and then through here bar there's a little bar in there with an outside seating area so, I just wanted to come and have a look down there oh there we go look at that look. so that's where all your things are that guide you in from the road now windmill without the windmill bit so as I say that's another campsite in there just round the corner just past Bradley's mum's campsite and that's the bar in there I just wanted to show you around here there we go and I'm just gonna have a quick scoot down to Denver Sluice so I've never been down here, let's go and have a look. So this is Denver Sluice. And maybe the old sluice gates out. Looks like it's a dog walk down now. There we are. The River Great Ooze Navigation Map. And there's all your flood relief from the wash coming through King's Lynn there. And that's what it's part of. All these little sluices. So. There we go. Let's take you up here for a little bit. about down the sluice and we'll just stand on this bridge and go you here and then I'll head back. There we go. Apparently around here is good fishing for big perch around here on a Denver sluice. 
and that's a load of boat moorings down there. Nice big lily pads there, but it's a nice big carp in there. Anyway, there's a few places to park. There's a car park down the bottom of there, opposite the pub. There's a car park, so you can park down there if you're at Bradley's. It looks like a boating club there. People out on the old boats. Free range eggs. Oh, bantam eggs. Tasty. Yeah. So there we go, Denver Sluice. Right, let's get back to the site. <laughs> right, so back at the site now. Kim Funston, thank you for your super thanks. You are a sweetheart. Thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. Right, just quickly, before I end this in a minute, down there, trail cam Dan, the man, has got two little trail cams down there because right there on a little stick lands a kingfisher. So we're hoping to get that on cam. If uh, Raven don't scare it away by playing with his ball. Okay. Funny old day today. It's very warm. Apparently there's a hurricane or something in America. And uh, we're going to have a hot spell now. It's going up to 27 degrees next week. Woohoo! Warm. I think we're going to head over Yarmouth way. But um, anyway, I thought I'd leave it here. Thanks so much for watching my videos. You're all absolute diamonds, you lot. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking and commenting. I absolutely, totally appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. You know I do. And I might have another little fish. Huh? So if you want to see a bit of just sitting on the edge of this lake, it's a lovely campsite here at Bradley's. There's my little bivvy. And there's the lake. There's all fish cruising around the top there. So yeah, if you want to see some fishing, I'll put a little fishing video up. But um, again, from us two, you stay safe and stay sane. Loads of love to you all. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.